All right, we're here with Wake Forest head coach Tony Deleuze after the Demon Deacons just received a number one seed in the NCAA tournament for the first time. They'll host Oakland on Friday at 7 o'clock. Tony, you've been here a long time. You guys have had a lot of success, but the first time you've been at one seed, what does that mean for the program? Uh, it's really just an honor for the program and, and uh, an, an acknowledgement of what we've been building over the, over the past 15 years. And, um, you know, over the last three years, we've really made a jump. And uh, I think it's recognition that uh, we played a really tough schedule and, and uh, got some great results along the way. And I, I think we're at a good, we're at a good time in the season right now. We're, we're, we're playing well and moving forward. Uh, you guys are just fresh off of making it to the finals of the ACC tournament for the second year in a row. Uh, lost some PKs in a tough match, but this is a conference that got nine teams into the tournament, and you guys were in the finals. How tough is it playing in the ACC day in and day out? Well, it's any game. You can lose any game, any time. And uh, I think it's been actually just looking at the last five or six games, it's been great preparation for the NCAA tournament because we're playing high-level teams. Uh, and a lot at stake uh, in every single one of those games. So you know, we we we, uh, we think that we think that being in the ACC is a great great preparation for us. And um, you know, it, it's an acknowledgement for the league to have nine teams selected uh, in the NCAA tournament is uh, is remarkable, really. All right, you guys are playing Oakland on Friday at seven at Surprise Stadium. What do you know about the Grizzlies? Don't know anything about the Grizzlies. Uh, they're in the NCAA tournament, so. Uh, they've done something to deserve to be in it. Uh, I think they won their conference tournament, uh, but we have to, you know, get some information and prepare for them, just like we would any other tournament uh, opponent. And uh, we'll do our best. All right, thanks a lot, Tony. All right, we're here with senior Jordan Fager. Jordan, you guys just found out that you're going to be a number one seed in the 2011 NCAA tournament. Obviously, a reflection of the great regular season that you guys have had. Talk about what it means to be able to go into the tournament as a number one seed. Um, yeah, we definitely really excited about it, and um, you know we've had a good season, probably the best season we've had yet. And you know, we've had our our downs. Obviously, yesterday wasn't um, a highlight of our season, but just getting the one seed, we know we can come back from that. And um, I think we're just really motivated now to to prove to everyone that we did deserve that one seed. So. Uh, one of the benefits of being a one seed is, of course, that if you kept winning, you would get to host all the way until the College Cup. Uh, you had the experience of playing NCAA tournament games on your home field back in 2009 when you guys made the uh, made it to the quarterfinals and played a couple games at home. What's it mean to be able to stay at home for the postseason? Uh, it definitely means a lot. You know, last year we had to go all the way to California, and I think that took a toll on us, um, just the distance and the time and everything. So um, getting to play at home will be huge, just getting more fans and um, just the feeling comfortable and I don't know, I think, I think it should help us out a lot, so we're excited about that. As I mentioned, the quarterfinals in 2009 is y'all's best ever NCAA tournament result, but you also won the ACC tournament last year and made it to the finals this year, so, so success in the postseason, you guys know what it takes to play in the postseason. Uh, what are your goals for the postseason this year? Um, definitely national championship. Um, you know, we got close my sophomore year making it to the quarterfinals, so we know what it's like to get there, but... Um, we, we want to follow through this time, and we want to get further, make it all the way to the finals and win the finals. So I think we can do it. We definitely have what it takes. Uh, we're just going to have to go out there and want it more than the other team every game. So Thanks a lot, Jordan. Yep.